everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over the six elemental creatures and their shadow traps from Bionicle. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. Real quick from last time, I didn't have any footage of the protector mask that Ikimu had. So here it is on Ikimu and on a little stand over here next to the mask of creation itself. They're both pretty cool and I wish they had one of these for Makuta as well. So there's that for you along with the heads of the creatures we'll be seeing in just a bit. Melum, the creature of ice is really cool looking. I love this new piece. The creature head is really nicely done. It has a little eye piece over here too. Interesting enough there's a port you could put in a horn and also some clip bar pieces put in clips on there it is in silver and dark blue we also get some dark blue over here 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 and here with light blue throughout the translucent versions i gave him a lot of spikes i gave him longer legs i gave him a lot of shells everywhere he looks much better than his previous incarnation i gave him silver and light blue similar but different you know i had to work with what i had different pieces over here but they're fine and look really cool and nice i like how this came out it's really awesome i gave him one Okoto shell tying them all together the heroes at least they look really wonderful he does have a function you flip his tail up and he moves his arms back if you put his arms forward you can have him do a kind of clap or like a hug motion it's really nicely done on that and as far as the articulation goes for him goes all the way around and then down and up wherever you want it to go same with this one and here over here we also get the leg going up and down you can swivel it however you want it's very creaky and clicky a lot of nice movement for this figure and works out really well he can get some really cool poses but for the main pose he kind of is hunched over a little bit so I gave him that he's really cute though I like him a lot he looks super good and I'm glad I made him look like this it's really cool to see as far as accessories goes Melum comes with a shadow trap or at least one I made him he never came with a shadow trap he was paired with Kopaka for some odd reason so I made this on my own it's a shadow trap piece that can clip shut and clamp down or it can open up and it looks pretty cool I have these little legs on here that are representative of the claws that Melum has so they're the same piece that's pretty neat tying that together they were a different piece on the box art in the background but I just wanted this for the sake of difference between each shadow trap I like the shadow trap pieces they're pretty cool and interesting and I think way better than the skull spiders Oksar the creature of jungle is next he actually has some system pieces in him on the top over here I don't know if I modified him all that much I just think I then gave him this piece up here but he looks really cool he has a cool function where you lift his tail similar to Melum and lift it up and down and it flaps his wings you can adjust the wings a little bit going up and down a little bit like this and it works out really well get these wings going in a nice fanned out position or just have them you know splayed forward a little bit you can also move the wings up and down like so for each one and they're pretty cool that adds another layer of playability and posability to the figure you can twist these a little bit and move these on the front the creature head looks nice I love the little adornments added onto it this might be my favorite one because the colors mesh so well and look nice with each other the legs can go up and down and then swivel at the sort of like hand piece I guess and just up and down for this and that's it not much posability I don't think but the playability and the whoosh ability is up there I recommend for a flight mode move the legs back all the way like so like you know, like a bullet and go whoosh. Oksar Shadow Trap is probably one of my favorites. The spined legs from the old Lego Paraka sets were awesome. I really like how this is done. He has a chain on the back, you know, which is pretty neat. You can hinge this and move it around and then swivel right over here very nicely. And you could also clamp the trap down and that works out really well. Open it really wide if you want. You can also swivel this chain around. This chain's one of my favorite Lego pieces, I think. It's really great and awesome. I'm glad they brought it back from around 2006, 2005 or so. But it's a nice Shadow Trap and looks really cool and intimidating. Ketar the creature of stone is really cool I designed this guy in a lot of different ways and added a bunch of different parts to him and probably over designed him I think by now you know he has a function where you flip the arms up and the little tail comes down which is pretty neat he looks really cool and I did a lot of work on him you can actually move the head back and down and up and down and forward make it a shield too if you want that's what I love about these different creature heads you can make it a different kind of shield just push it up and it shields the character you can also swivel over over here and swivel up here and on the top as well up there you can hinge this piece left and right and then swivel this around however you want it does come off sometimes so just be careful and each leg has a swivel here 
a swivel here, a swivel here, up and down motion for all of them, and it's really cool. This scorpion design is hated by the character who has to pair up with him, but I think it's really neat and cool. There's a bunch of spikes on him. He's very dangerous and hated by Pohatu himself, so that's kind of a shame and a bummer. But this is a really nice piece if you want to take the time in to actually pose it. It is a lot of articulation, but once you get it in a cool pose, he looks good. Yeah, that's awesome. Ketar Shadow Trap looks pretty menacing and also kind of scrunkly in a way, yet I find that it doesn't really share too many hallmarks with the Creature of Stone himself. It doesn't really have any coloring or anything, it's just bland kind of silver. There is a sort of scorpionish tail over here. It's pretty fun to have it trap its own tail in a way, that'd be interesting. But having him open and close is a little bit tough. You don't want to make the legs fall off and have Having the friction pulling it apart does make legs come off sometimes in this figure. It's kind of weird and I don't like it that much. I do like the concept of what they're going for but the execution is kind of not really there. There's a lot of articulation in the tail and you can swivel this around a little bit. You can also swivel these around a little bit if you want as well as each leg can move very nicely and of course it does trap and snap but it isn't really my favorite of the traps. It's not too great in my opinion. Ikir Creature of Fire is the poster boy for the creatures and he does an amazing job at it. Probably one of my favorite creatures of the whole bunch. He just looks phenomenal and the gold works for him too. It's great. The gold in his head is really nicely done bleeding into the little translucent orange. is really nice. We also have these fire pieces over here as well as a new fire piece that is used for the Toa. Yet I don't really have too many of them but this is really neat and looks super cool. There is some articulation over here moving this. I also move this around. It's a nice ball joint over there. The function is move the tail, flap the wings. That's what it is I think for half these guys. Move the tail and something happens. But this is pretty cool and works out really well. You can fly really nicely. You do get a swivel up here and I made it to jittergrade because it looks cool and we also get a swivel over here and we do get some claw action which is great and a bat claw which wasn't my design so that's awesome where you can like hold stuff in his claw. That's cool if you want to make like a bionicle parrot or something like that and there's some nice articulation for the bat claw as well. Really nicely done, super cool figure, highly recommended. I love Ikir so much. He's super cool and looks great and he's my burb boy. Yes you are. Love you so much. You're adorable. Ikir's Shadow Trap is kind of boring and bland. I actually had some alternate parts I was going to use for him. These claws versus these claws. But I found that I really didn't want to and just kept it sort of vanilla. It is a, you know, sort of vanilla trap after all. It's kind of your starter trap because you would get the red one first, wouldn't you? The blue eye is really nice and contrasting against the orange over here. It does hinge over here a little bit and works out nice. You can actually do a double trap kind of bottom and top, which is pretty cool. Of course, it does trap as well. Not my favorite, but... I don't think it's my least favorite of the traps, but it's pretty cool and looks somewhat menacing, I guess. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. I really love Akita's design. It's awesome. We have some nice spike going on with this head. Also some spikes over here, here, and here. All the same spikes. Beautiful design, by the way. There was orange in it. I took it out just because I don't really use the orange from the Toa figure. I have the Master Golly versus the United Golly. He used orange. And I kind of wanted to blend in better with her. So I swapped out some colors here and there, and she looks great. This Akita is super nicely done. The function is really cool. You flip up the whole, like, fin piece, and it just, like, smashes down and stabs down, which reminds me a lot of how prey and predator relationships work in the ecosystem of Earth. Like, it's just kind of like, stab, that's it. It's wonderful. I love this kind of thing. It reminds me of some kind of animalistic kind of deal. You can move it out a little bit, also swivel this a little bit, going up and down all the way. You can swivel this over here and swivel the neck and swivel the, the head. You can also swivel this down here and swivel this here. I recommend going in a little sine wave motion, you know? Over and then over, just to mimic the ability of fish to sort of swim. It's a really anatomy based character that I really love. The non-humanoid characters, how they move, is just incredible with action figures. That's what I love about them a lot. I really wish most action figures would move to some less humanoid figures and more things like this. That would be great. I love Akita. She's wonderful. Akita's Shadow Trap is really neat as well, having a lot of inspiration from the Animal Kingdom also. We have two little claws up here. We have a small little fan in the back, I guess, for like a rudder. But more importantly, we have these spider-like 
legs, which reminds me of spiders that can glide on water. You get a swivel over here. You can swivel this a tiny bit here and there. You can also hinge this up and down for each leg. It's pretty neat. We also get the trap function and we also get the fan on the back. It's a really nicely articulated figure with a lot of points of articulation. Really nicely done for this one. Yeah, water's kicking butt around this time. And finally, we come to Terak, Creature of Earth. I really love how he looks. The purple and gold is really nicely done. Super cool and neat. He has a gold uniter piece with the Okoto piece over here. So this is the uniter part. We'll go over that later on at least, but it looks pretty nice to see this gold and gold combo going on where the rest had either silver and gold or just gold, I guess. So moving on from that, his function is again move the tail and the arms can move up. It works pretty well, especially you want to have him in a digging pose if he's digging stuff. Like all the rocks are just digging the rock over here. It's really nicely done. I had to move it 90 degrees over just so it could have this motion because originally his arms went way back here. So as far as articulation goes for him, swivel over here, swivel over here with the ball joint. Watch out for that head moving. We get the ears wiggling over here. We get an arm around and then the hand around. We also get some nice articulation for the fingers going up and down. You get some swivel over here, very crunchy. We also get some swivel over here, a little bit squeaky. Let me get some swivel over here. And of course, all these swivels can go up and down as well with the nice articulation given by the ball joint pieces. This is a really nice piece. He looks really cool. I had to mod him a little bit and add some parts, but he looks wonderful and doesn't really look that much like Melum. He still looks cool in his own right. And while they're similar, they look different. So that's pretty good. Yeah, Terak is really cool. I like him a lot. He's a nice figure. Terax Shadow Trap is interesting. I like the drills on the feet. You can swivel them around a little bit and move this and of course clamp and then open up. It's a little bit tough to open these up, I gotta say. I wish there was a better way to open it up, but it's pretty cool, I guess. These are really interesting leg pieces, and they're pretty neat. It's been fun to go over these shadow traps and how interesting they all are. Here are all the creatures next to each other. We have Akita standing at about four inches tall, maybe five inches tall or so. Melum stands at around five and a half inches tall. Akir is around eight inches, maybe eight and a half inches to the top of his wings, and around five inches to the top of his head. Uxar is around I would say maybe even eight and a half inches, nine inches to the top of his wings, whereas he's around three and a half inches to the top of his head or so. Terak is about five inches or so to the top of his head, and Ketar is around three and a half, four inches or so, and then six inches to the top of his tail. And they are all really nicely done and scale really well with each other. If I were to rank all these, I would make Akita first. She's a really nice piece and looks super cool. Akira would be second. He is just awesome looking and great. We we have Terak third. I just love the function he has. It's really cute. Fourth, I would probably put Melum. I love that hugging function. It's really cute and awesome. And I think it did the best job making him look different as well. Uxar is next with that cool wings, but I feel like you can't do as much with them as you can with Ikir. And finally, Katar being last, the poor boy, being hated by Pohatsu. But that's my ranking for these guys. Here's all the shadow traps for the creatures, and they look good, but not as good as the creatures themselves. I get they were made with limited pieces and everything, and it had certain designs they had to adhere to. They did a well enough job. I just find that on a couple than they could have done better. We have the water shadow trap standing at about three and a quarter inches tall. The ice one standing at about two inches tall. We have the fire one at around two and a half inches tall or so. The jungle one at about three inches or so tall. The earth around two inches tall and then stone at two inches tall or so. They're a nice varied height. Pretty cool. It all depends on the legs for them but they have good functions and look really neat. As far as my ranking goes for the shadow traps I would do water jungle then I would do ice stone earth and fire it does look pretty cool though all of them and are really neat and formidable foes overall the creatures and the shadow traps of bionicle are awesome sure i may like some more than others but they're all great and unique in their own ways i love how they look and especially the animalistic looks to most of them are really nicely done it's a great idea to have all these different types of builds for characters whether they be humanoid or animalistic and i prefer they be more animalistic and different rather than these same human build we've been getting for quite some time with Bionicle as well as Hero Factor. These are some really out of the box builds and I wish they could have done more but this being the final year of Bionicle as of late these are some nice small sets to go out on. The Shadow Traps are really unique too. They look great in their own ways and while they are separate they are united by their trap piece as well as the unique legs that each comes with. They're all super cool and look amazing. I recommend getting all the creatures or just one but make no mistake if you want animalistic characters in your Bionicle collection these 
creatures are wild. So which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned.